Good morning and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today, we are going to look at the 2020 NCA Probability Method in Problem Solving Level 2 External Examination. So, if you have not watched video 2 and 3 for question 2 and 3, please do so. It will be up very soon. So, let's go. Question 1. Tia finds the results of a survey conducted on staff and students of a New Zealand university. The survey asked about various matters related to EV, electric vehicles. So from here, we are going to draw the probability tree. So 15% of the survey respondent were staff. So fifth staff, 15%, so 0 0.15, and the rest were student. So 1 minus 0 0.15, 0 0.85, so student is 85% or 0 0.85. Then we're going to proceed the probability tree. 90% of the staff and 43% of the students drove to university. So they drove or did not drive. Drive or did not drive. So for staff, 90% drive, so 0 0.9 and not driving, 0 0.1. For the student, 43% drive, so 0 0.43 and they, those did not drive is 0 0.57. So we, the, the, we are going to build up the probability tree. The next information we are given is that of the student who drove, 36% say they would like an EV. So EV, 36%, drive, 36, do not own, a, do not want an EV is 0 0.64 because 1 minus 0 0.36 is 0 0.64. Similarly, uh, while 60% who did not drive, so 60% who did not drive say they want an EV, so 0 0.6, and those do not want an EV is 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. Now we have the probability tree. We can proceed and answer some of the questions. Okay. The first question. Okay. Find the probability that a randomly chosen respondent in the survey is a staff member who drove to university. So we're looking at staff who drive. So technically, we are going to use the probability that leads to it. Staff that drive. So 0 0.15 times 0 0.9. It gives you 0 0.135 and that will give you an achieve. Not too bad, right? Great. Now we shall look at the second achieve question. Find the probability that a randomly chosen respondent is a student. So it's a student who did not drive, so did not drive and would not like an EV. So would not like an EV. So you multiply 0 0.85 times 0 0.57 times 0 0.4. Put in your calculator and it's 0 0.1938 and that will give you your second achieve. Okay, let's proceed. Part three of question one A, okay, so we shall look again. If the student respondent said they would like to own an EV, what is the probability that they drove to university? So this is a conditional probability. The formula for conditional probability is this. Probability of A given the condition B is probability of A and B divide by the second probability which is B. In this case, they say the condition is that the student would like to own an EV, so like to own an EV is probability B. And then what is the probability that they drove to university? So the drive is your probability A. So A is your drive, B is like to own an EV. So when you do in this uh, formula, convert into this form, it's going to be probability of Drive and like to own an EV divided by the second probability, probability that like to own an EV. So far, so good. Okay, so to calculate the probability of drive and like to own an EV, drive and like to own an EV, we multiply 0 0.43 by 0 0.36 and that come up to 0 0.1548. Like to own an EV, so it could be uh, we're talking about student now, so it, either this probability or that probability. So student who drive like an EV, so you take 0 0.85 times 0 0.43 times 0.36, okay? And that will come up to 0 0.13158, uh, so here. And then the other possibility is student who don't drive like an EV, so it's going to be 0 0.85 times 0 0.57 times 0 0.6, we found out it's 0 0.2907, add these two probability together, and it comes up to 0 0.4968. So to calculate the probability of drive, given that they like to own an EV, is 0 0.1548 will own 
and divide by 0 0.4968 and that'll give you 0 0.3116 and that will give you a merit your first merit okay okay now we do the second merit question the second merit question looks like this okay so of the staff who drove to university so now we have to drive okay 52 like an EV, so 52 like an EV, 48 do not like, while only a quarter who didn't drive like an EV, so 0.25 is a quarter, and those who do not want is 0.75. What percentage of all the respondents would like an EV, so it includes both the staff and student? So to do that, we have to calculate the probability of staff who drive like an EV, staff who do not drive like an EV, Student who drive like an EV, student who do not drive like an EV. So these all four possibility. So to do that, we do the first one to calculate to staff who drive like an EV, multiply this, this, and this, and you get 0 0.0702. How about staff don't drive like an EV? So 0 0.15 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.25, and that will give you 0 0.00375. Similarly for student, who drive, who like an EV, so 8.5 times 0.43 times 0.36 gives you 0 0.1358. And student who do not drive like an EV, 0 0.58 times 0.57 times 0.6 gives you 0 0.2907. So the probability of people who like an EV add all these three prob prob uh, probability together and you come up with 0 0.4962 multiplied by 100 because they ask for a percentage, that will give you 49 point six two percent and that will give you a merit great so finally we are going to do the excellence question the excellence question looks like this okay tia also learned that 40 percent of the staff and 72 percent of students who responded to the survey live close to the university she suspects that the distance they travel to university would have an impact on the opinion of the ev okay so Tia is also told that both staff and students who live close to the university are twice as likely to own an EV to those who do not live close. So she constructs a probability tree. So if you live close, you don't want an EV, the probability is X. Those who are live close and want an EV is twice as likely, so the probability is going to be 2X. Similarly, for students, it will be Y and 2Y, and we'll look that further. Okay? Tia has calculated for, uh, the probability overall 49% of the staff and 43% of the students would like to own an EV, okay? So, so find out how much it is likely for a randomly chosen survey respondent who lives close to the university want to own an EV than a respondent who does not live close. Okay, so we shall put all this into a probability tree and it looks like this. Okay, so, so it looks like this. So, not close, the probability is half, you want to own an EV, so those who are close will be double, be 2x. Similarly, for not close, for student is y and the probability is 2y. So first we need to calculate staff who wants an EV. Okay, so it could be this and this. These two probability must add up to 0 0.49 because the question say those who uh, want the EV for staff is 0 0.49. So to calculate the probability, we take for staff 0 0.4 times... Okay, so before that we need to calculate for your x. Okay, to do x, we take 0 0.4 times 2x plus 0 0.6 times x. This will be equal to 0 0.49. If you do it algebraically, this will be 0 0.8x. This will be 0 0.6x. So you add up to 1.4x equal to 0 0.49. Divide by 1.4 on both sides. x is 0 0.35. If x is 0 0.35, we're going to write there 0 0.35. What a 2x will be double of that 0 0.7. Similarly for y, okay, so to calculate those who want an EV, the student, where they are living close, so 0 0.72 times 2y plus 0 0.28, not close, times y, and they will add up to 0 0.43. Multiply them, 0 0.72 times 2y, 2y going to be 1.44y plus 0 0.28y, it will give up to 1.72y equal to 0.43, divide by 1.72 on both sides, so y is 0 0.25, so we're going to write y is 0 0.25, and 2y will be double that 0 0.5. Okay, the last question to get the excellence part, they said that P 
people who want an EV if living clothes will be higher than people who want an EV if they are not clothed. So we have to calculate that probability. So first we calculate people who want EV if not clothed. So not clothed is here, okay? So we have to calculate for the staff as well as the student. For staff, it's going to be 0 0.15 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.35 because that's what staff who is not closed and they want an EV, so 0 0.15 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.35, they'll give you 0 0.0315. Similarly, for student, if they want a not closed but they want an EV, so student, not closed, and EV, multiply 0 0.85, 0 0.28, and 0 0.25, multiply them together, and that will give you 0 0.0595. So if they want an EV and not closed, Add the two probability for staff and the student, it'll give you 0 0.091. So now we have to calculate the probability if they are a student. To do that, we multiply for they are not closed. So they are closed, sorry, closed here. These two are closed. So for staff, it's going to be 0 0.15 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.7. That will give you 0 0.042. And for student, 0 0.85. Because now we are close, uh, 0 0.72, 1 EV 0 0.5, and that gave you 0 0.306. Add the two probabilities together, it gets 0 0.348. Naturally, that's quite true. People who want an EV, their living close is higher than the probability of those who want an EV, they are not close. To cal calculate the amount, you take this number, divide by that number, we calculated it to be 3.8. So finally, you have to answer the question in context. You say the probability of people wanting an EV if living close is 3.8 times more likely than people not living close. So hopefully you understand this question if you want to get an excellent and also don't forget to watch video 2 and video 3 which is coming up soon and if you keep on practicing both watching all the three videos you should have no problem getting a merit if not an excellent. Cheers everyone and have a good day.